tell me about your experiences being an African boy growing mm. up in the UK mm. and identifying as being one of us, you know? Um, I have a track on my album called um, MIA, which stands for Made in Africa, um, born in the UK. And um, my journey basically, you know, I've, I've seen a shift from when my parents would, or my mom would try to force me to wear Agbada, to wear African native traditional clothes, where now, as you can see, all the kids <laughs> you're, you're now it. are wearing it because they want to. So it's been made more accessible. I feel this has come around through, you know, different musicians coming out, fashion, culture, you know, um, a lot of, uh, there's, there's now a lot of international mixing. Artists are going back home yeah. to bring their new flavors in. Um, and I have a lyric on, on, on that second verse, which goes, I spoke to my grandma on the phone. I was ashamed because she couldn't understand a word I was saying. But lucky for me, my dad was there translating. Imagine what it will be in a few generations. Mm. We've got to teach ourselves in order to teach our kids. Or they go go home not knowing what their language is. Wow, so wow. I beg, make your pilgrimage to your distant relatives. I know where Peckham is or Batasi, but I don't know where my grandma lives. Wow. You know? That's so. <laughs> dope. <laughs> Let, <laughs> round of applause, my brother. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's that message. And I believe I'm of that generation that is, well, was made in Africa, born in the UK. But now, you know, just like Fela before us, he kind of discovered Africa outside of Africa.